AWS to AWS Failback and Failover. You can perform a fully orchestrated failback directly through the cloud and your user console if both your target and your source infrastructures are AWS. In our case, AWS US East Northern Virginia to AWS US East Ohio. Performing the failover. First, you must perform a failover. Verify that all of your source machines have been tested and show continuous data protection under the data replication progress column. That the status column shows that a target machine can be launched. And that the disaster recovery lifecycle column shows tested as the status. Perform the failover by checking the box to the left of each source machine. Opening the launch target machines menu. And selecting recovery in mode. Click next on the launch target machine dialog. Select the recovery point. You can either choose the latest or a previous recovery point. Click continue with launch. The Cloud Endure console will launch the target machines in recovery mode. You can review the launch progress in the job progress tab. Perform the actual failover by directing traffic to your target machines using the two lower means you use for directing traffic. The user console assumes that a target machine launched in recovery mode was failed over, even though you perform the actual failover outside of Cloud Endure. Once the failover is complete, all of the source machines in the project will show the target launched icon and the failed over status under the disaster recovery lifecycle column. Performing the failback. The failback is initiated by reversing the direction of data replication from the target machine back to the source machine. This is achieved through the Prepare for Failback action within the Project Actions menu. Click Continue on the Prepare for Failback dialog. Once the Prepare for Failback action is performed, the project will display Preparing for Failback to Original Source next to the project type. The console will reverse the direction of data replication and your machines will undergo the initiation process, until they reach the continuous data protection status under the data replication progress column. This indicates that the direction of data replication has been reversed successfully. Once the machines have reached continuous data protection, you will need to launch new target machines for those source machines. This will copy the backed up data from your failed over virtual AWS machines into your original source AWS machines which have been temporarily reversed to serve as target machines. Prior to launch, you can edit the failback settings of each machine, if necessary. Click on the machine name and navigate to the failback settings tab. Edit any settings as necessary. Click save replication settings if any changes were made. After making setting changes, check the box to the left of each machine. Open the Launch Target Machines menu, and click on Recovery in Mode. Click Next on the Launch Target Machines dialog. Select the latest recovery point and click Continue with Launch. The console will launch the target machines. Once the launch process is complete, the status column for each machine will feature the purple target launched icon. And the disaster recovery lifecycle column will show the machines as failed over. The final step to the failback is returning the machines back to normal operation. This will yet again reverse the direction of data replication, moving the direction of data replication from the now restored source machine back to the target. This will return your newly recovered machines to their normal functioning state. To return to normal operations, open the Project Actions menu, and click on Return to Normal Operation. Click Continue on the Return to Normal dialog. The direction of data replication will be reversed, and your machines will again undergo the initiation sequence. The failback process is complete once all the machines display the continuous data protection status under the data replication progress column.